Every now and again I say your name. That should be enough. Uh, we don't get no codes for payment. What's up, guys? This Say is Ball by the Fell Handed. Today we are doing map tactics on Lakeville. How to do it. How to do it. Uh, if everybody would meet us at the southern spawn, please. Actually, meet me. I'm the only one here. We've got a few guys out today, but you know what? That shouldn't stop you guys from learning. This is a very interesting map. It has its symmetrical um, situations, and at the same time, it doesn't. Some things are very similar on both sides. Some things are not. And we're going to go over that. Uh, yeah, this is this is my first go on the NA West server. I guess we're on the West server as a in a training deal. Go away, dog. Okay, so first off, guys, what are you doing? Please, please stop. Let's pay attention. Moving on. Over here, guys. Uh, your clickers are obviously going to set over here. There used to be a place. Um back on this two line where they could fire between the rocks down um, down the number two alley here I don't know if they took it away or not oh yeah it's still here yeah if you sit right here you can fire straight down this line um, so yeah that is a, a perfect reason not to be here if if you like getting things done guys never come here I would actually even go so far as to say, no matter what tank you are running, never come down to the two line. If you guys watch my mountain pass video, it's the same thing um, in that situation. Because you can kind of post up right here and with one tank destroyer and kind of hold this entire alley down. So just something to think about. You don't really need a big force here to make things happen. Um... And also, the guys, you know, you're just going to get pooped on by, you know, Yags or, or whatever tier you're playing. You know, there's going to be massive, tough, hold down arties over here. And, and or excuse me, tank destroyers. Whew. Tank destroyers over here. So you just have to keep that in mind. Um, probable locations. You're always going to have tank destroyers camping the base because that is generally what tank destroyers tend to do. Uh, they're going to set right here. In other words, if anything goes south, they, they can just kind of back around the corner. Um, this is always going to be the case. You're always going to have tank destroyers here providing support fire to the city. The city, ideally, um, should, be the, should be the primary push point. As a light medium, um, this is kind of where you can get to. Uh, you can even go so far as to kind of push up into this bush. Now, the downside is I see a lot of newer players. Wow, this is a little laggy for me. Um, get into this bush. It This looks good on paper. But if you look, if somebody even barely comes around over there, they're going to spot you. I mean, because you may be at a good distance, um, uh, you know, from the guys over here. But the guy is going to be like, you know, 150, 175 meters away. He will see anything that close. Unless it's, you know, a Russian tank. <laughs> okay, so anyway, medium light, if you're over here, uh, the idea is, you know, anything goes down, back down this hill into cover. Uh, there's a, this is what's referred to as passive spotting. There's a very good active spotting location down here. Um, if you're in a medium or a light. Uh, there's essentially two different levels of active spotting. Um, you can go to this rock right here at my 12 o'clock. I have numerous videos showing the amazing, uh, this amazing rock. I mean, you've got a, a really good, good shot. If they have a strong presence, guys, on this lake road, you're screwed. So don't, <laughs> don't go here. Don't really, you know, be in this area big time. Um, if they've got a lot of guys, and you'll know because they'll start firing on you. Uh, this is the really super aggressive area. If you are in a fast tank and you can get here first, you may not win the game, but you will absolutely wreck the enemy team. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying for sure 
you'll win because I have really seen some fumbles. But, you know, it'll definitely help your team out. Moving on. Guys, if you're in a if you're in a heavy, you're in a tank destroyer, anything slow, uh, and you're crossing over to go to the city or post up or whatever, I see so many guys cruising right here through where my where I am at, um, and they're slow and they're going 25 clicks and they get tracked because they get spotted um, over there at E4 and then they just get annihilated. So if you are going over here. You need to get as close to this line as physically possible and then come down through here. Because if you get spotted over there in a heavy tank, you are screwed because you're going to be out in the open. Now, guys, right here, you're always going to have uh, mediums, lights, tank destroyers, heavy campers, just pretty much anything. Anybody who, uh, you know... This right here, guys, is a good support position. I mean, if you were playing solo, I would recommend this. Uh, at least for the first half of the game. That way you could get some good support fire, get a few pins, um, you know, early on. And then, you know, when things start to kind of break up a little bit, then you can move out. Uh, I see a lot of people go out there, and within the first minute, they've lost two-thirds of their health. Don't be those guys. Conserve your health. Now, granted, you know, you can go out there and lose that much health and still make it happen. But it's just not a good habit to make up. Uh, city is the primary push point. This is where the magic happens. Um, I, I see a lot of people fighting over that two line when you can just post up with a tank destroyer and an arty and just run things. Um, but that kind of seems to be what people like because when when you really think about it guys My head is in tier 10. So that's what I'm going to speak to you guys about, you know, think of like You know an IS-7 Fighting an E5 or an E100, you know IS-7 even with APCR still has crappy penetration and the E100 You know even with heat can has a small window to pin the IS-7's turret. So it's just throwing silver at each other. That's all it is. And I am not a fan. Moving on. Let's start at the northern spawn and kind of come out of here. And let's go over what is what. There's a few really, really good locations over here um, to kind of post up in. There, there's a few surprising locations. And when I was talking earlier in this game about... You know, this map having symmetry, you know, Enemy it having it us. and not. There's a few things that kind of surprise me as far as this goes. That, that you know, just you wouldn't think of um, areas that you wouldn't normally think of that you could kind of post up at. Okay, guys, so moving on. Uh, clickers, obviously, back here. That's where they live. If you are tank destroyer providing support fire... Death Star, what have you, uh, right around here, you know, as soon as somebody peeks up over there to take a shot at somebody on that hill, boom, you shoot them, or, or whatever tank, um, so just keep that in mind. Getting right over this side right here is where you want, uh, assuming you're going to fight this mess of a, of a fight, um, you know, I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of ideas, it, it's, to me, this is a, this is a, a lose-lose. It's... I don't know. Maybe you can make it happen. If you can make it happen, that's fantastic. I run mediums and lights. I am not about this knockdown drag-out life. I am about farming you while you're in that knockdown drag-out life. That's, you know... And, and as a medium light, you need to be concerned about finessing people, not about taking people head-on. I will stop talking about the two-line now. As you can see, I am not a fan. Once again, guys, tank destroyers right over here, okay? If they get brave, they will pull up to this hill, okay? Now, granted, it's going to take them a while to back down and to actually get into cover. Um, two, two areas over here you can spot in. This first is right. It's so passive, it's borderline active. But every, every now and again, every game, somebody's just going to put a random shot up here. So you got to be careful. 
Um, this is a good position for support fire. Very good position. And what I was talking about earlier, being in that bush, when somebody bends this corner, they're going to have LOS over there. Okay, so just keep that in mind. This is a more aggressive spotting location. And a lot of times what they'll do is just peek around enough just to see that open field right there. Like if you post up right here, everything that comes through there is going to get lit up. And it's going to be lit up way past they get in a, them getting into cover. Now that being said, the guys sitting on the hill are going to lay into you. Um, so, you know, I'm not necessarily super crazy about these aggressive spotting locations. So just, just kind of throwing that out there. Moving on. And, guys, you know, pretty much this location as well. I know I keep saying it's a tank destroyer location. It is good for pretty much anything. Anything you want to have that support fire. Um, so just keep that in mind. You know, if you're starting the game and, you know, you don't want to just go out there and absolutely, you know, murder your HP. Um, as long as you're, you're providing your team you know support fire what have you I mean granted if you're the only light tank don't sit there obviously you have work to do but like I said it, it's kind of situational now guys tank destroyer a crafty tank destroyer will sit behind this and he will get fire on the lake road and he will get fire on the city so just keep this in mind I've even seen um, artillery here and guys if you see artillery here believe there is a strong presence in the city it's a fact moving on uh city fight here guys pretty much the same thing as the other one uh you know side scrape being the order of the day um if you've watched any of the side scrape videos you guys have to understand that side scraping only works at a given angle if you're good at math you're going to be good at side scraping so just keep that in mind you have to you have to understand that you know if you're side scraping here and somebody's over there and you know you're doing your thing and then all of a sudden they get angry and they start driving out here well your side scraping angle is getting less and less so you're going to get you know punished so just the main thing is you guys have to understand the game is very very fluid and you kind of have to adjust based on that so that being said uh, Nacho, Mel, you got any got any questions, guys? Uh, I have a comment. Yes, sir. Uh, on this map, uh, if I've taken a lot of damage, especially from the road over there by the lake, this spot where I'm at here in the little town square is a good spot to hold up in, and you can actually get far more damage on the tanks when they have to come get you. Let me see where Especially you're at. Especially if you're coming from the... Oh, yeah, you're in a little right boxed here. area there. Yep, no, that makes sense. Make them work for it. It, it, you prevents them, yeah, it prevents them from shooting at you across the lake, and, and they have to come around the corner to get to you. Right, right. And also, guys, this top road right here is prime lake road firing area. So if you are crossing over and you are right in here you're you know there's a good chance you're going to be shot in other words if you're fighting you don't want to stop over here because that means you're you know you're in bad shape because they can get shots on you granted it's not perfect shots you can kind of move keep moving um, and get out of the range there or, or get out of the LOS excuse me uh, but once again you know guys everything's situational there, there's no hard and fast you know, rules, a lot of guys, since this has been coming out, have, you know, said, oh, bull, tell me where to go, I want to go here, I want to win. Well, it's not that easy. It's not drive here, shoot anything that moves, and you're going to win. It's, you know, me giving you guidance in where you need to go. Um, because, you know, if you know the, the type of tank class probability-wise that's going to be there, then that's going to help you make better decisions because they're not going to show up on your map yet because you're not going to be in that area, but you're already going to assume they're there, which is, you know, 
kind of going to help your game overall, if that makes sense. Um, you know, you just kind of have to plan on what's going to be where. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not going to get anything else because I, I could see me getting into it. The game's over in 15 seconds and I'm just like, oh, well, perp, never mind. Anyway, yes. Um, yes, so watch this. If you have any comments, let me know. These guys are being really quiet, mainly because I'm doing all the talking. It's, it's a perfect day. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.